so today is the 19th session of ergonomics for beginners with industrial design perspective now the current module is that module number 4 we are continuing with posture and movement among eight sessions within this module so today's module is class number 19 that is a vertical work surface now gist of last classes that was that uh, the chair characteristics now the approach to design ergonomics oh yeah, the below are the influencing factors that we have discussed in last class to summarize whatever you have discussed the first point is that take account in different differences in body sizes anthropometric considerations with that and the use context and accordingly make some design dimensions and other considerations for seat designs for that common behavior considerations are also necessary specifically we know that back the chair means a sitting platform with a specific height arm rest for arm to rest on that and specifically the back rest with that another thing is that below any work surface allow sufficient leg room so that leg free movement is possible follow parallel relationship between trunk and lower leg leg there is a shank so in different postures maybe when the body the trunk and thigh at different angle so the trunk and the lower leg follows parallel relation and we need to honor that while making any body supportive device that is seat or bed kind of thing the normal chair means we feel that there will be a backward inclined or horizontal seat platform with backrest but in certain cases where we require to concentrate or to look at the front and so a bending forward movement is necessary at that condition say the knee rest rest support seat seat concept is also there that is balanced chair type of concept where you don't require the backrest and specifically the body supportive device with both the frontal and backward trunk bent condition should be honored and that type of maybe work station one can develop so with this we have concluded last session for that uh, normal chair characteristics and today's topic is the class number 19th today that is that uh, vertical work surface means a person may need to work in a vertical oriented surface and then what would be the different considerations for that now the effective vertical work surface when we talk about it we must consider the other work surfaces that is mostly the horizontal where a person can stand lean forward and work or a person can sit and 
work like that. And also there are some kind of diagonal work surfaces with varied angle, so that a person can stand and can work on that or maybe in a sitting position. Sometimes what happens when a work surface is a horizontal still a, when a person sits sometimes they may require an additional support system so that a angular or slant work surface can be added on this normal for this normal horizontal surface so that without changing the whole surface here is a specialized area can be operated can be raised so that for reading any book or something on keeping on that is possible working is possible so that it helps maintaining the eye distance at the both the ends and it is easier to work also now there are certain work surfaces where the vertical work surfaces are there like this type of things vertical work surface where man needs either sit or in a standing posture they can work and the different reach values and etc it needs to be considered now so with that we can say that some of the working context like in this in this figure it is said that this person climbing on a ladder he is fixing some work here in this position so it is a vertical work surface now the context is that if the work surface is already created and then we ask a person to work with then we may need to consider the working tools he is he is using how best we can design that so that with that handle device or an additional design support he can perform the task on the vertical surface and another thing is that if we require to make a specific surface where the vertical arrangement of certain things is necessary then we can have a special considerations for vertical work surface that is going to be today's discussion topic and we are coming to that. Another object is that in a vertical work surface there may be a slant also. In this figure it is shown seen that a person is working in a slant vertical context much above the floor level. So, what happened in to hold himself in that position on that position a special safety belt or safety tie up is required here. So, and then he is working on that. So, where the work surface is already created there we have to take some different approach and in otherwise we may require to develop a special curvature on the vertical work surface to assist our arm reach and eye reach also. In this case another work surface is that horizontal but above head. In that context also we may we can do something that either a carved upper surface or if the surface has to be maintained in this position then do certain design so that the task can be easily performed that we have discussed in earlier classes. Now, this context is well known context surface and the person's anthropometry. In this case the vertical work surface and the different reach values with this now 
we can say that uh, with all those uh, there exist a curved wax surface context like in this case uh, we may have a curved wax surface like this uh, either concave or a curved wax surface uh, as a convex type of wax surface. Now, if a person stands somewhere then he has to touch here, he has to touch here, he has to touch here, but in this case what is happened his arm has to be bent and here he has to extend his arm. In this case it can be said that a similar problem we are may be there. Then what would be the considerations? We can say that there exist a curved work surface suitable to touch by hand approximately 1 meter from the body and it suits to vision. Such curved surfaces may be useful to work in a standing as well as in a sitting position where at the same time person is required to touch top horizontal and lower comfortable reaches. Few aspects may be considered about the movement pattern of arm arc, this arm movement arm arc in erect posture and bending forward posture with the natural eye movement, how eye behaves. Now, if we see this figure here, the, when we are talking about comfortable reaches, if a person has to work in an Almira type of furniture, then the, it should be comfortable arm reach and below from the floor around 20 millimeter gap has to be maintained so that he does not need to bend much. It is seen that if we keep around 20 the lower arm reach at around 20 millimeter above the floor level then it does not give much pressure on the back, but if he has to go below this then it creates that problem. In this case also you can say that in the library and etcetera these are the similar type of problems. Now, the work posture requiring considerations for upper and lower limits of comfortable arm reaches are necessary for this type of activities and accordingly the design should be considered. This is a general dimensions of a man male and female combined data. So, different arm reaches values are given here in three different percentile forms 50th percent fifth percentile 50th percentile and 90th percentile value in millimeter all the points are given here. This data has been taken from anthropometric dimensions in standing posture Indian male female combined data and source is that from D Chakravarti's book, uh, book of uh, anthropometric Indian anthropometric dimensions for ergonomic design practice published by National Institute of Design in 1997 from that is the reference of this data. So, with this some concepts we would like to discuss now. Now, when a person stands or sits from the hill point, if we draw a line then we can say this is that central axis body axis. From this body axis or for our normal or for this our convenience of discussion if we see that the if a person stand keeping back and heel on the on a wall from this wall if we measure the arm reach value 
the in a standing posture so his arm so the maximum reach will be here and then the arm reaches are like this this is the arm reaches so this arc is the forward arm arc in a stand erect posture here it is seen that we can say that our arm so this curvature is a mechanical curvature but our arm has some facility that we can extend at our shoulder level so considering this we can say that from this head height and straight to this amphelian height we may have a straight vertical surface and then every 20 centimeter it has a angle of 15 to 20 degree and like this way it matches the top end and accordingly below the amphelion it also behaves like this. The similar case when a person bends from here bends and then touches. So, so this is the arm arc that is the forward arm arc bending at waist. This also more or less it also follows the same principle that every 20 centimeter and a, an angle of 15 to 20 degree above the head height and below the amphelion height also the similar nature arm arc movement and this vertical from head height to amphelion height it may be vertical straight. So, if this type of a work surface is given then this person can get good reach and this distance is mostly we can say that with the arm reach or with a bending and etcetera it may be around one within 1.5 meter distance from the back. Now, question comes if we consider both the arm reaches then this is the behavior of the arm arc. So, this arm arc the forward arm arc at the stand erect position and this one is the forward arm arc with a bent at waist that type of posture. So, here we can say that a vertical work surface might have a concave feature then if we want to make an work surface where easy reach is necessary then the vertical work surface should have a bent like this way should have a bent for of the front arm reaches because both the extreme ends of the arm reaches are smaller in length than that of the mid position. So, here it comes closer it also comes closer then this is the largest area. So, as a matter of general convenience it could be said that the area in front of a person the area in front of a person from waist level that is a amphelion level to head level may be straight and vertical and the extreme ends of the surface may be curved in order to make it easy for the arms to reach both the upper and lower areas. So, initially starting at around 15 degrees from here if we try to make a surface like this way then we can say that initially at every 20 centimeter around 15 degree we can have a bend inward and below also like this 15 degree inward inclination it should gradually be nearer the user. Now, question comes the viewing distance. Now, when we said that 
from head height to amphelion height that is waist height it may be vertical and then above this and below the amphelion that is waist it will be every 20 centimeter around 15 degree inward angle. But I moves in different way it is seen that in a from head height to amphelion height if it is a straight vertical then above this at roughly around at around 20 centimeter I moves in a 5 degree inward inclination and below the amphelion it also behaves a similar way. So, that it will be it, it gives a easy vision in this surface. So, a viewing distance of a vertical work surface should not be more than 750 millimeter this distance and should never be less than 330 millimeter. If a viewing distance is the below this then it there is some problem comes preferably not lesser than 5 10 millimeter from the eye position while adopting different postures because a short viewing distance as well as a long distance creates undue strain on the eyes. Like if it is a very close vision then just if we can if we want to focus on this finger and then bring it closer. So, it around 13 to 15 centimeter distance from the eye, eye the focus becomes blur. So, what is happen to make it focus either head has to go back or it becomes the blur. So, depending on this context and everything we can say that the vertical plane of the visual field follows a stepwise curvature over the head and below the waist at approximately 5 degrees inward inclination at each 200 millimeter. So, with this by combining these two with the arm reach values and eye movement and eye traveling movement. The visual curvature and the arm reach curvature a specific vertical work surface can be designed to ensure comfortable reach and vision it may have an inclination of 10 degrees at every 200 millimeter length approximately over the head and below the waist and from waist to head level it can be straight and vertical. Now, this we would like to see in a schematic diagram here. So, this schematic diagram mentions about the curved vertical work surface and vision easy to touch. The person is standing here this curvature inner curvature is this is the, this one is the arm reach arc in erect standing posture. This is the upper arm reach this is the comp upper comfortable arm reach middle comfortable arm reach lower middle comfortable arm reach and the direct hanging arm dactylian this arm reach. The second outer one is that uh, arm reach arc in leaning standing posture where this is the top reach this is the upper comfortable arm reach this is the middle comfortable arm reach with bending forward maximum this is the lower middle arm reach and this is the lower most arm reach value like this way and here this one is the 200 millimeter we need to leave this space. Now, considering all this that arm moves around every 20 each 20 
centimeter 15 degree to 20 degree angle above head and below yes and eye moves every 5 degree inward angle above head and below waist and the in between this may be straight. So, combining these two both above head a 10 degree inward inclination is given here 10 degree inward inclination and below also. So, it gives a special curvature here so that arm reach as well as vision both will be easier. Arcs passes through respective comfortable arm reach of vertical upper, middle, lower and lowest positions of our erect and leaning forward postures, it also would be easier to touch as well as it will follow the vision easiness also. Like in a, so this red line is the vertical work surface curvature is preferable. Now, this is the front, so at the both sides right and left both sides also it may have the similar type of curvature. So, if we can create an work area like that, so it will be easier to touch each and every point of that work surface and it can be easy to see all the things on the surface. So, accordingly notice can be placed on that notices or may be control switches and etcetera may be kept on those areas it will be easier for that. Now, some example we are trying to show with this suppose this is an work surface where this needs to be touched and vision to be controlled. So, in this case if we try can follow the same angle whatever in earlier slide we have seen. So, it will be easier like that way. So, the person can see this is vision angle also will be like this way and the touch wise also arm reach will also follow the same thing. So, it will be obviously easier. Now, another example we can give in our normal day to day life that some shops. Suppose this is a shop in this shop if a person stands somewhere here then for him this distance visual distance is more this visual distance is also more and touch also while if it needs to touch this lower button and etcetera lower switch is here then he needs to sit with a squatting posture or if he stand and want to touch it here then he has to stretch his body. So, in that case if we can create a work surface a surface like this then it would have been better for him to touch. Now, how we can create this type of curvature work surface that we can discuss now next slides. Suppose in this case. Now, if we can make a small or a book rack or maybe display rack like this, it will be easier to touch and easier to vision. vision. Now, if we want to create this thing in a wall mounted rack, then what would be the concept? Wall mounted rack, suppose this is a in wall, this is a wall and if this is a wall, this is the surface. So, here what is happen? If the similar type of plates if we place in little upward angle and then if we can keep some material or maybe book or something like this way, then it gives this type of angle. If the similar thing if we keep somewhere here like this way, then it may give this angle and here if we keep in a vertical way, so it comes like this way, the vertical way it comes like this way. So, if a person stand here and for him the vision as well as reach will be within control. Now, a small design solution for this. Now, how to create these racks here? 
Now suppose if we can make a some slotted angle holes kind of thing, just this is a scheme I am presenting here. Suppose this is a varieties of holes containing one plate here and then this type of plates with many holes are here. So, if we can fit within this, so if I put this like here, if I match these holes then it may be horizontal. If I place something like this way, something like this, then it will be angular to below and like this it may be if we keep in other way if we join here then it may create like this way. So, in a plate, so if we make a, an arrangement like this and then if we join it to like that, suppose here like this way and then in this case and then if we put a platform here, then what is happen? this angle it comes like this. So, you can keep some item here, we can keep some item here and we can keep some item here like this. Way. So, by this way we can create a design. If the, the scope for wall mounting is not there, then we can make a self standing rack like this way. This will be there. So, by this we can make a specific arrangement. Now, another thing which can be said that now this whatever we mentioned here it is all in for a standing person or for a sitting on a chair person, a person sitting on a chair that type of activities. Now, there are certain context where people work on a cross legged position or in a squatting posture and work. So, in that case also the same, but the arm reach value and eye movement it remain will remain same. So, in that context also if we can make a surface like this work surface then it will be easier. Now, some specific application area like suppose in a nursery school where normally children they sit in long seats. Nowadays we also prefer that children should use individual small seats stool kind of thing. That stool and etcetera it may have different feature varieties like mushroom type of feature and etcetera. So, children may like that. They may carry parent there their own seats. They may make their own groups, peer groups bringing all the seats together like that they can meet. So, in and also we can say that okay, when we are allowing this two or three or four student children may make a group and can do certain activity like games and etcetera or maybe study whatever. So, there if we can have this type of small racks with a swiveling wheels etcetera and then if we can make in different arrangement like this, then it may create a, an enclosed activity area. So, within that they can sit and they can play within among themselves, they can collect whatever material they require stacked within on this type of racks. It can be dismantled. If they we want to make larger group, then break this type of things and then have a, a larger group like this way, larger 
you can arrange like this way. So, this flexibility is there. In that case, what we are considering that uh, children's arm reach values, arm arcs, and then vision is almost the same thing. So, like this way, new and varieties of uh, new experiences uh, we can create uh, with the existing framework. Now, with this uh, another example is that uh, now this is a work surface. Now, when we are making any machines, so for the making machines, the work height and distance must follow comfortable arm reaches. Now, in this case, suppose the machine for some machine functioning purpose, for mechanical purpose, it may have some structure, it may have some structure, but the controls and displays it may be placed in such a way that it should be within the arm reach and the display material it should be presented in such a way that it can follow that same arc type of thing. So, that it will be easier to touch the control the machine and for vision to easy to read the instructions or the feedback the machine is giving to the man like this. So, here what is happened minimum 20 centimeter gap is necessary and now here if we need so this surface would have been like a curvature like this way that we have discussed earlier like this. Way. So, not only in a furniture purpose, but in this machine context also this arm reach arc as well as the vision movement the arc it follows it should be considered. Just one example it is taken from a very well known reference of a book. Here it is shown, shown, shown that some concepts in this right hand part the person has to touch all the things and the vision the problem it is creating and now he has to see this. If this person has to concentrate at the same time or to look at this point, this point and this point, it is but impossible for him to attend. But this case, if we can make like this, it will be easier like this. So, we can say that the work surface for horizontal work surface one considerations we need then slantings and etcetera it may have different context and upper work surface to work with it may have different context or maybe some if we need to work on that then that curvature has to be considered that curvature has to be considered below if I need to work with then that curvature also has to be considered. Suppose in the both sides see, some controls and etcetera are there that we need to operate upon. So, that also should follow that same type of considerations see, like that. Now, suppose in a certain cases see, that uh, in certain cases see, that uh, where just to another example we can say. Suppose, uh, a fish market, uh, the some people are selling fish or some fruits and etcetera. Suppose, a person is sitting here in a cross legged position and he is selling something and there are many baskets are around him. So, for seven, there are many baskets in this context, uh, it is full with uh, material so, it is for difficult for him to get reach in all the baskets. So, with that maybe another concept we may have like this that if we have a circle like this and then another circle over this another circle over this like that. So, what is happen? The reach wise it will be easier for him like this. Suppose, this is a 
top layer one layer then another layer then another layer it will be on different heights so what happen a material here he can touch it and he can rotate it also as per his requirement so this type of designs can be developed with this concept so the concept here is that arm reach the arc it takes from head height to waist height that is amphelion height is the vertical straight then above head height every 20 centimeter a 5 degree inward inclination and below that also every 20 centimeter 5 degree inward inclination and it may have in different places like this. So, if we can keep a make a working area like this way then and, and then if we have a revolving sheet here for this person to see it then he can get touch in all the sides with equal comfort that is the main requirement we would like to achieve. Now, depending on specific context this information we have to apply and for that we need to keep our eyes open to find out the need and where we can apply these informations precisely and for the benefit of the activity concern task concerns. So, with this we are concluding today's session there is a vertical work surface, there is a carved work surface. Now, if the slant is required, then how much we can extend our arm that needs to be considered. Just another example we can say here that like suppose this is a blackboard. In this blackboard, normally what is this is the blackboards are like this way. So, the person writes here. So, when he is writing somewhere here, then at the shoulder level is there is no problem he is writing it and top also, but when he is writing towards the floor level then he has to bend himself and then writing is not perfect and it starts writing starts bending. So, if when he starts writing from the top it takes a bend like this way and then it becomes horizontal and then the writing starts moving out upward like that way. So, it is a problem. So, in that case if we can make our this blackboard concept or the whiteboard wherever we are writing then if we can have a concept like this concept like this then what happen it will be easier for easier to touch as well as work like this it will be easier to work with. So, the reach and vision would be easier. So, with this we are concluding to this session vertical work surface with the carved arc and next session will be class number 20 where we would like to discuss the horizontal work surfaces and the specific design application concern with that. So, with that today is we are concluding the session. So, thank you very much next day we are will meet. Thank you.